All right, so now we're going to talk about the Maya Vitara sequence. And it's going to be uh, basically a consequence uh, of your, your snake lemma, right? So, so we'll use the snake lemma Right, to derive a divide and conquer formulation of homology known as the Mavritar sequence. And essentially what it does is that it relates um, the homology of the union of uh, two sets or two spaces uh, with the homology of the individual spaces uh, and the intersection. each of the spaces and their intersection. Okay. Um, and intuitively, it's like the idea, it's like behind this is the following. So if you recall, it's like when we talked about the, um, the exact sequence, it's like for, um, pairs, right, uh, that comes from a short exact sequence uh, at the level of chains. Uh, and so something similar is going to happen here, all right? Um, so, um, so let uh, k be k prime union k double prime, all right? And let a be its intersection, k prime intersect k double prime. So then the idea is that at the level of chains, right, we have a sequence of the form Um, CP, uh, I'm going to write it in terms of the intersections, K prime intersect K double prime gets embedded into two copies, CP, K, direct sum, CP, K, uh, K prime, K double prime, uh, and that gets mapped to CP, uh, K prime union, K double prime. Okay, so the claim is that this is a short exact sequence, um, and essentially what happens is that you take um, C, right? C is a chain. It's like which is supported on the intersection of the two spaces, uh, and you map this to the inclusion into K prime or C. Uh, comma the inclusion into k double prime of c right so this is not an element in uh, the direct sum it's like of the chain group it's like on k prime and the chain group on k double prime okay and you can do this because uh, c is supported on the intersection so it, there's an inclusion into k prime as well as to k double prime and then what this map does right is to take let's say c and c prime and it maps it to C plus C prime, okay, which you can do, obviously, right? Or there's sort of an inclusion here, I guess. Uh, so there's an inclusion of C plus the inclusion 
a C prime, right? So you have to include K prime and K double prime into the union, right? Uh, and, and that's the map, okay? So uh, it's clear that this part of the map is one-to-one, -one, right? So C included into this is one-to-one, -one, uh, and it's uh, sort of, you know, um, easy to convince yourself that this part of the map is onto, okay? All right, so, um, and um, also fairly easy to convince yourself that it is exact uh, at this point here, okay? So in any case, this is sort of um, what, um, this is the, the short exact sequence at the level of the chain groups, right? Uh, which is going to induce uh, the Mayavitar sequence, okay? So um, let me, and then perhaps state it uh, formally. So the, so the Maya Vitor is sequence theorem. Says that, uh, so let K be a simplicial complex. And k prime and k double prime be subcomplexes. Such that k is a dia union. And let a be the intersection. Then there exists a long exact sequence which goes from HP of A, which is the intersection, right, to HPK direct sum HP. Uh, HPK prime direct sum HPK double prime, right, which is clearly the homology group associated with this chain complex to HP of K, right, which is the union. And then there's this connecting homomorphism, which glues stuff back to the lower homology group, lower dimensional homology group of the intersection again. Okay, so again, uh, hopefully it's clear uh, from our discussion that, you know, given this um, short exact sequence at the level of the chain complexes, right, uh, that by the zigzag lemma or the snake lemma, that you get um, this sequence involving, um, again, the intersection, the individual homology groups of the subcomponents, and then the homology group of the union, okay? So, um, yeah, so, and, and again, the proof really is just uh, a consequence of the sleek lemma together with uh, showing that this uh, sequence is indeed a short exact sequence. Okay, so I won't really go too much into the details, but again, it's like uh, the relevant thing is, is what the maps have to be, right? And it's easy to convince yourself that uh, these maps, it's like do what you expect it to do. In particular, of course, you can see that if you compose, it's like these two maps, whereas you take the inclusion in this way, and then you apply, it's like this other something, clearly C will map to uh, zero, because essentially you get two copies, it's like of the image of uh, this chain, right? And since you have uh, C mod 2Z coordinates, uh, sort of coefficients, it's like that maps to zero. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the basic idea. Uh, and then, uh, of course, what that allows you to do then is that it allows you to think of, uh, you know, it's like computing the homology for more complicated things, right, by looking at the homology of the individual pieces as well as their intersections, okay? So, uh, so let me just stop here for now.